Good evening, guys. Being closed from the stars. We try to talk it over, but the words got in the way. We're lost inside this lonely game we play. Are we really happy? Hey, wait. <laughs> okay, sorry. So tonight is what? Wait a minute. Today is our 15th, <laughs> our 15th class. Inspire, inspire, inspire. <laughs> I'm inspired. I'm inspired. Yes. I was, I was remembering uh, because we're starting person perfect with the other group. Okay. So somebody used the verb begin, begun, begun, mm -hmm. begun, begun, begun. So I thought, we've only just begun. We've only just begun to leave. Remember? Uh, <laughs> Carpenters. I, 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 I would be saying so, so, but I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Nice. Man, she, she had a beautiful song, a beautiful voice. I'm sorry. She had a beautiful voice. Okay. Okay, so last class. <laughs> what was it about last class? What was the last topic we discussed? May I interject for a moment? Who sent that? Okay. Interject. Uh, I don't know. I never use that verb. Sorry to interrupt, but I have a quick point to make. I have something to point out. Sorry to interrupt, but I would like to point out something. I, I like to point out something. I like to point something out. I like to point out something. Okay. If I may... I like to add something to what you're saying. That's good. Can I jump in here for a second? Okay. Can I jump in here for a second? And uh, jump in here. I don't know. That will go in the context. Just to build on what you're saying, I think that's a good one. Number five. I'm on your WhatsApp, by the way, <laughs> looking at what Erica sent. I think it's good. Just to build on what you're saying, I think. May I offer a different perspective on this? That's a good one, too. Very professional. Sorry to interrupt. Interject. Mm, interrupt. Sorry, for in sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. But I have some information that might be relevant. Okay. If I could just interject for a moment, and again, interrupt for a moment, I think we're missing a crucial point here. I think we're missing a crucial a crucial point here. You need the here. I don't mean to cut you off. That's a good one. I don't mean to cut you off, but I think we're getting off track. That's a good one. I like number nine. And number 10, let me jump in here and suggest a possible solution. I don't like that. Let me jump in here. I don't know. It's too, it could be taken too literal that's the word it could be too literal okay so welcome to the last session tonight for me um tonight we have to review your midterm exam but also go through some topics of what we have been studying so far so tell me yesterday what did we talk about yesterday You don't remember? Really? 
we designed an instrument but only one of you was able to abort to talk about it and that was Adriana Adriana was able to kind of describe the needs on her position question did you finish preparing for tonight preparing something for tonight like to describe the needs um, on your position anybody okay let me do the attendance so we can start the class and then we'll go from there I finished the chat. Awesome. In a minute. Okay. Good job. Adriana Jose Serna Durán. Present. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Erika Jasmín Martínez Carpio. Present. Thank you. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Jolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Thank you. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Excellent. Feeling better. <laughs> yes, I, can, I can tell. Thank you. Ruth Isela Joaquin Flores. Present. Excellent. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Good. And Noemi, I'm sorry, Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemouche. Present. Thank you, Ivan. Welcome. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Hmm. That, this is interesting. I didn't send you the link or the images as we were discussing yesterday. What is a needs assessment um, instrument? That's concerning, but there were four specific points that you need to point out that you need to be relevant on your speech. What were those? What were those four specific areas to consider when you're conducting a needs assessment test? Who remembers? Can you repeat, please? What were the four stages that we should consider when we conduct a needs assessment um, test? Um, normative. Okay, thank you, normative. What had to do normative with the process? What, was it, what is it about? It's, it's a process the, in the manual. Exactly. The job. Uh -huh. Okay, can you paraphrase that, somebody? Can somebody paraphrase what Ivan said? How do you paraphrase, paraphrase something? Mm -hmm. He's saying it on in your own words, in a different way, kind of repeating what he said.
And okay. number is kind of how to do it and what you have to do. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. But written on a book on your company, right? Okay. That's number one. Normative. What was the second one? Perceive? Was it perceive? Hmm. ¿Qué dice el público? Come on, guys. I don't remember the, the, the exact the name, but it's kind of what you think, what you need to do your work, but it's what you think. It's not what you really need. Okay. Um, perceive, uh-huh. So let's remember, we had normative, perceived. What were the other two? I can barely remember. Relative. Relative, thank you, that's number two. Oh, okay, okay. Normative, relative, which is, yeah, perceived. And what was the one where the person needs experience? I mean, the person has experience and tells you, I need this. Because I think the relative was the last one, right? I don't remember. Let me look for it because I lost it. I'll be honest with you. We tried to talk it over, but the words got in the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This lonely game we play. I found it. Just a minute. There were four areas to be more specific. We even described them little by little. Hold on. This is not easy, you know. It's just, uh, yeah, normative, relative, expressed, and perceived. <laughs> These are the keywords, okay? It's not what you know, it's how you know it. Okay. It's in your WhatsApp right now. So again, you have normative, relative, expressed, and perceived. And these are the types of need, the types of need. So if you may, if we may, um, should we have Carla to explain us <laughs> what she has found out? Sorry, teacher. Okay. Okay. So go ahead. No, I did repeat. Ah. Okay. Would you explain us how the uh, analysis I, that I you did? Know it. But we with with this for because I I I I I done with the 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 other the other that that is that was in the manual okay good good it's the same thing actually go ahead whenever you're ready yes 
<laughs> I I share and I try to explain. Thank you. Uh, thus, you are expected to perform in your position. Uh, the task uh, that I have to do is assess, ass assist. Mm -hmm. This is the pronunciation, teacher. Yeah, assist. assist. Correct. Assist the project manager to ensure the mobiliz mobilization and the mobilization of experts. Of expert, expert. Expert is like a uh, expert. Is uh, a in this case is the specialist engineers uh, like uh, a structural engineer, hydraulic engineer, environmental in engineer, etc. And other project members to the project side, like the inspector, like uh, a personal per the personnel that work in safety. Mm -hmm. And other tasks assess the project, assist the project manager and members to carry out to contractor contracts correctly. Correct. <clears throat> correctly and this is that I have uh, in chairs that the to carry it, the contracts the no subcontract that the the company to hire and I have to help the project manager prepare and the technical and contract for Paul uh, monthly reports. Mm -hmm. And manager project office staff, staff and resource like to manage the house for for no local staff. And, vehicles or cars assigning 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 the staff uh, I have to hearing staff or hiring all personal hire 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 of personal mm -hmm. and the list the skills you like to home I think is in human resource and um, business wait, administration. Wait. So, this is something that I was explaining to you yesterday. You need to go and follow the flow this way. So you follow this way, the flow, and then from ah, here, okay. you move here. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. And then you go here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't remember. Leave okay. the current skills you have that at allow, allow to perform the task that you allow you to perform the task that your position demands. And I, I make this uh, presentation that the, uh, the company have uh, many requirements that the minister, minister mop Minister, no, I don't know. The Ministry Minister of Rahul. Public. Minister. The Ministry of Public Affairs. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, public. <laughs> what is it? Construction? Uh, uh, public construction? Uh, I... yeah. Okay, go ahead. No. Yeah, yeah. Public construction. Uh, how? Uh, uh, how... To have to no to require at the company for each position of the staff 
in, in my case, the uh, the education is gra graduates in civil engineering or related fields, bachelor's degree in business administration. And the experience is experience in contract administration in fields in fields related to roads, bridges, and other part for experience for more than eight years. Years. Planning organization, integra integration, direction and control. And my position is a contract administrator, but I have to administrate to the office and the people and all, all, all mm, rela relacionado. All positions re no. related, all positions related to what? All positions related to mm, to the office. Okay. I have to administrate the personal, the the, the house, the the bakers, uh, all the all all the office needs. The vehicle, all the vehicles. Needs. Okay. Ve vehicles, <laughs> cars. Better <laughs> and least the skill to life to home. I I think it's in human resource in I mean in business administrator. You would like to we... improve your human resources and administration skills. Yes, that's very general. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, because I am architect and I don't, I, I don't, I don't know experience with, with to carry human resource. And I have to, I have uh, almost four years in this uh, position and I have to learn myself. By myself. Organization. By myself to to direct to organize to organize or organize, organize. planning plan, planning and I have to to learn by myself and for this reason I I I I believe that I need a uh, skill, skills, or maybe no skill, maybe a training in human resource in um, or in business administration too. Okay, and last one. How would your performance improve after the training? How would you? Will your optimized perform will benefit the organization? I was explaining this that I will improve a lot since I don't have no much knowledge in this area of managing a project, and I only have experience experience in design, supervision, and construction of civil works, and this area is new for me. But I have a lot of experience in in construction. Um, for this reason, I I I I can I can I can be in this position. But in in the in the company, the company have to present to mob the the people. The, the, no, a, a curriculum. Okay, the resume. La, la empresa tiene que presentar el personal para que el mob lo pruebe. Para darle la plaza. Si no, okay. no, no, en inglés. Si el mob no lo prueba. Say it in English. 
Es que no sé cómo. I try. You're doing it. Yes, you're doing it very good. So they have to approve the project. I, I try. For... Try. Mm -hmm. Wait, the company needs to <laughs> present the project to MOP so they can approve it. Yes. Okay. By the way, it's Ministry of Public Works. Ministry For all positions. Works. For <laughs> all positions. Of course. That's a filter, right? Good job, Carla. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's talk about some pronunciation uh, areas of improvement here. Oh, you stopped sharing. That's cool. <laughs> okay. okay, don't worry. So I actually took notes a little bit. I'm architect. I'm an architect. Repeat, I'm an architect. I, I am architect. No, no, no. I'm an I'm. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I'm. I am. I'm. 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 Estoy contractuando. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm an architect. I'm an architect. I am oh. architect. Okay. Let's contract. I am. Uh -huh. Okay. I am an. <laughs> I am an architect. Uh, I, am... I am an architect. Better. I am an architect. I am. <laughs> okay. I am an architect. Ahora, digámoslo rápido. I'm an architect. I am an architect. <laughs> I'm an architect. Mm -hmm. I'm an architect. Perfect. I'm an architect. I am an architect. I'm an architect. I'm an architect. I'm... I ama I, ama 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 that's the this reason is why. This the reason why. Mm -hmm. This is the reason. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. Okay. Okay, thank you. Cuidado con la pronunciación del in, porque el cerebro puede pensar que es en, porque es lo mismo, ¿no? Okay. In the company where I work, in the company where I work, it happens to me. It happens. Um, but it happens the other way, because I, I, I say... Uh, the company like this look i say the company oh, oh my god no wait is the company my dyslexia is dyslexia and it's okay you will become dyslexic when when you become bilingual or trilingual you know when you can speak a lot of languages you become dyslexic it's normal there's too much information on your brain makes sense right Okay, so if you noticed, Carla was listing her current abilities, right? Her current skills. Oh, wait, 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 normative. She was listing what she's supposed to do as per her manual. The company has a manual of positions, task, tasks, I'm sorry, tasks, tasks, that you are supposed to perform on that position. Easy. Number two, what are my skills um, to do this job? Do I have the necessary skills? Mm, yeah, okay, I have this, 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 this. Uh, skills. Hmm. Interesting, because there's a difference, right, between having skills and studies. You can study a lot. Look at what it says. List the current skills you have that allowed you to perform the tasks that your position demands. Now, it's not about your studies, <laughs> and I'll be honest with you. You can have a master degree. You can be a doctor in your profession, 
in case you didn't know, you can become a doctor in your possession, in your profession. Um, but you may not have the skills. That's different, right? What do you think? Studies give you skills or abilities? I repeat, studies give you skills or abilities? Abilities. Why? I think both because in my case, I I I have to, I have to have mm -hmm. many requirements, and I have I mean two I have, and also I have. I have to have abilities, abilities too, and I and I have, I have to. To take box. There's a misconception, and I would like you to have this clear, all of you, because it, it's not easy. As uh, I mean, mostly in English to understand the difference between skill and ability. Abilities are something inherent. This is something inherent in you. An ability is the capacity that you have to perform a task. In that sense, abilities can be, you can be born with abilities. Okay. Skills, you can develop skills and become someone very skillful. Speak in English. Is it an ability or a skill? Ability. <laughs> I have one. Who else says it's an ability to speak another language? For me, a skill. A skill. Skill. I have two versus two. One more. In my opinion, it's a skill. It's a skill. Nelson, why? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I think you skill. Because you can develop it. You can be 30, 40 years old and you just learn to speak another language and that's it. It's a skill. Abilities are things that you are capable of doing with your body, with your knowledge. You just, you know, you can do it. You were born to play the piano, but you can develop that skill, right? But some people are born playing the piano. It's an ability. Um, some people, well, these talents, you know, playing instruments is part of the abilities that you may have. But there are very distinguished abilities, distinguished abilities. For example, my son, uh, my eldest son, He's 14 years old, and he's left-handed, but he can write with both hands. Now, if he needs to do something that requires strength, you know, strength, like opening a bottle or something, he uses his left hand. Got it? <laughs> That's really weird. He writes with both hands. He can draw with both hands. But when it comes to be strong, he he uses his left hand. It's really weird. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I I I took him for a car lesson, a driving lesson today. And since he had to use his right hand to do the changes, you know, on the on the shifter. He was confused. And I was like, why are you confused? You can use both hands. And, and he was like, can we move the wheel to the right-hand side? <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> We're in El Salvador. <laughs> that's funny, you know, but that's an ability to be able to use both hands. You see? So you're born with these capacities, these abilities. Skills, you can develop them. Totally, totally. Agree. So again, the question is, 
studies or skills or abilities. We're talking about graduating. Graduating skills. as an engineer. A skill? Skills. Yes. Skills. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. It's a skill. Totally, right? You, right. you develop okay. these skills. Typing fast on a computer, typing fast on your keyboard without skill. using your eyes, that could be skill. You become skillful on something. Good job. Good, good job. Now, studies definitely, I mean, they open many doors. They open many doors if you are a study, if you have studied something. Uh, let's see. That's Those are my thoughts about it. Richard, Richard I, I understand that the two different skills. Hard skill is soft skill. Hey, good job. Okay, go on. Uh huh. So the hard skill, uh, I I know, uh, uh is um job or or uh, technicians, for example, in English on computer, uh, accountant, uh, something like that. Hmm. Hard skills versus soft skills. Soft skills, I understood, was soft something skill, that soft doesn't. Skill is a characteristic mm -hmm. of the person. Uh, for example, oh, uh, empathy, yes. Yes. empathy, empathy, um, honesty. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Soft skills have to do with your behavior, your character, time management, yeah, communication, people. teamwork, yeah. creativity. Totally. Good job. Yeah. It's true. Uh, no, but I'm a little bit confused about the hard skills, which is what you can do, right? What you can perform with your hands. Yeah. Hard skills could be, let me see, language knowledge. Okay. Degrees, accounting, typing techniques. Machine operation, programming languages is part of your hard skills. Okay, yeah, definitely. So everything that is is cognitive is part of the hard skills. Whatever is uncognitive, you know, it's just your behavior, the way you think, the way you think. That's these are soft skills. Okay, tonight we're supposed to go through all this, which is section number two of your workbook. We're going to do it by building vocabulary uh, really quick, having a chip chat, if that's okay with you. Let's start by having a chip chat. Let's see if you remember some concepts and having a discussion. I know everything has to do with needs assessment, okay, training needs. Okay. Now that we have started actually all of these topics, um, let me see if you can already answer some questions. May I challenge you? Can I? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Adriana. Let's play something really quick. Adriana said we have to practice. And I shall challenge you. That's why Adriana said. She sent me a message and said, challenge the team, challenge the classmates. Okay. Let's start by seeing I mean, noticing your vocabulary. Nelson, what do you see? One object. One object. What do you see on the screen? I see a lake. A lake. Perfect. Carla, what do you see? I see trees. I see trees. Perfect, Ivan. That's simple. I see. I see the bridge. I see a bridge or bridge. the bridge. Okay. The bridge. Right. Okay. You cannot repeat the words, Erica. What do you see? Water. Water or water. Water. Uh -huh. water. Amer hey, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Americans say water. British, eh? water, water. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, Daniel, what do you see? I see the reflect, 
be reflective. I see a, ref a reflection. I see a reflection. Reflection. On the, on the water. Okay, good. Uh-huh. Joelman, what do you see, Joelman? There's a lot of words here. Uh -huh. What do you see? Forest. A forest. Good job, Adriana. What do you see? Rocks. Rocks. Love it. Hector, what do you see? Cloud, teacher. Clouds. Very good. Ruth, what do you see? I see sunset. A sunset? Mm. Oh, okay, I'll mm. take it. What do you think? Sunset or sunrise could be. Okay, I'll take it. Jamie? Come on, people in advanced. You should use more advanced language. Vanessa, what do you see? A circle. What? A circle. With oh, me. a circle. Yes, a circle with a reflection. Yeah, you have a circle. Perfect. Thank you. Fatima, what do you see? Sky. I'm sorry, what? A sky. Uh, would you run that by me again? I'm sorry. Trees or sky? Oh, that's already, well, sky, nobody said sky. They said clouds. They said trees. Okay, good. So the sky. I see the sky. Perfect. Samantha, would you? I see a bridge. Uh, it, that's already done. Something else. Don't repeat the words. Come on. That's the challenge, okay? I'm going with a second round to see if you see something else. Don't repeat the words. Uh-huh. A lake or river? Uh, a, a river. We said is a lake. Something else. Rock. Rocks. Rocks are done too, right? Joelman said rocks. No, someone said rocks. Uh -oh. Leave. Leaves. Siker. Good job, Siker. leaves. What is a psyker? It's on leaves. Psyker. What are leaves? Leaves on the trees. Yeah, bridge, rocks. Yeah. Okay. So who, who said who said psyker? I'm sorry, I'm not getting that word. Me. Circle. Oh, circle. Uh, sunset. No, no, no. Sunset. Ivan, huh? No, no, it's, it's uh, uh, circle, see, circle, cycle. Yeah, so said circle. Circle. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Half circle. a circle, okay. Circle. Everybody, what else do you see? Sunset. Sunset. A mirror. Some, somebody said sunset, a mirror. No, it's the reflection yeah. said Daniel it's, said. It's, it's like a, it's like a tree de manias. Oh, come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Our tree. Okay. Nelson? Old tree. Old trees. Tree. Picture. <laughs> I see. Yeah, there are many trees. But... A rusty. Arbol seco. Rusty oh, crow. A dry tree. Okay. Dry tree. Um, a dried wood. Dry wood. Would oh. be... Teacher. What, what's this? Grass. Grass? grass. Yeah, th there's yeah. grass. A mountain? Reflection. A mountain? Where's the mountain? In the far. <laughs> For the clouds. Teacher. Somebody said. Environment. Environment. Mm, that's very extensive. Mm, okay. Ecosystem. Plants. Shover it. Shover it. Shovered. Mm. Shovered. Flowers. <laughs> I don't get that word. Flowers, okay. What is these? And what's this? Again, what is Fun. this? Sand. Uh, 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 Sand. Sand. I think that's er that, that that's actually um Shubbering. mood. Sh Th that's mood. Shovering. Shovering. Mm. Showering, mud blood, no, sh shabari, shabari. Reflection. shabari, shabari. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not sure
Yeah, can you type it on the on the on oh, the okay. uh huh? Okay, this okay, is okay. the if this is Good. a lake or a river, the Good the this, lake wow. the lake shore the lake shore. Okay. Look at this in the chat. Mm. Reflection. Shuddering. Reflection. Shuddering. Shuddering. No están poniendo atención porque una de las primeras palabras que ocuparon fue uh -huh, reflection. Ah. Oh, shuddering. That, Ivan, is the word for bushes in English. What you're doing bushes. is... Bushes? Yeah, shuddering is actually the, the British... The British for bush. Mm, bush is a big. No, but a bush is a bush. This is a bush. Mm, In plural, bush, bushes. Bush. Bushes, bush. Okay. Uh, bush, what, bushes. Is it, what is that? In Spanish. What? Vanessa? Aguacate. Strawberry. 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 That's okay. arbustos. Okay. And... There's where we have that saying, don't, don't go around the bushes. Don't go bushes. around the bushes. Stop going around the bushes. bushes. It's not, don't go around the branches, okay? Which is something else here. That's the way you call this thing, you see? Branch, right? Branch, branches. And so on. You see, from one image, you can take a lot of words. Um, this is not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Okay, so let me challenge you, as I was saying. That was part one of the challenge from one image. You can say a lot of words. Falling leads. Yes, there are flowers. There's a sunset. There's the lake shore. Okay. So question number one. I'll be on your workbook, by the way. If you want to follow me, and you must follow me, please don't just stare at the screen. You have to participate. Oh my God, I was looking for the. Okay, there we are. So, question number one Where's your book? I lost it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, we had a book? <laughs> really? Erika, thank you. Have you ever attended a training program that did not address the specific needs of your work area? Have you ever attended a training? I'm going to say it differently. Have you ever attended a useless training? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, next. No, come on. Why? Why was it useless? Because we don't cook at work. Really? They taught you how to cook? Yes, actually, like a month ago, uh, we got a training with a chef. And he teaches us how to uh, handle the knife. Toros, toros, I'm sorry. Toros. Toros, how to handle or how to use the knife. <laughs> what? Yes. Why do you, why, why would your company do something like that? What do you think that happened? It is kind of like a, um, how to say it? Um, to be a little bit more um, healthy and full. Oh. Because we stay the whole time sit at sitting, work. Sitting at work. Sitting at work, yes. That's, well, that, yeah. that, that, that's something. <laughs> that's something. So that's why they, they try to <laughs> teach us that. So. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Man, I was concerned how to use the knife. Oh. Since you live in El Salvador, we're going to teach you today how to use an app. Okay. Okay, next question. Who is next, Erika? Um, Fatima. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fatima. 
Mm -hmm. do, do they conduct service in your company for employees? Mm. No, I, I never. No, they've never? No, they never. They've conduct. never conducted a training before. Really? Yes. That's sad. Not even from Ministry of Labor? Mm -hmm. Never? Okay. Never. Have you ever been to a training yourself? Mm. Yes. Okay. What was it about? I uh, I said training in the Don Bosco University. Oh, about what? For introducing to to my work. Ah, oh, you mean the when, induction? When, yes. Okay. Yes. Induction training. Did you like it? Yes, I like. Did you find it useful? Mm, yes, because um, learn about the vacation and the benefits in the in the company. Okay, because. I learned. I learned. <laughs> yes, I learned. Don't, don't forget the I. <laughs> because learned about, no, because I learned. We learned. Good job. Okay, who is next, Fatima? Nelson. Nelson, okay. Nelson, can you name three skills of yours improved as a result of a training program you've taken? About cleaning? Yeah, your skills. I have three skills of yours improved as a result of training programs you've taken. I yes. don't. No, teacher, I, I just, I had a training. One, a one training. Mm, be careful, a one. Mm -mm. I just had a training. I just had a training. Okay. What was it about? It was uh, about fire. Tires. Fire. Okay. Hmm. Yes, they 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 taught how to use stinters and and how to help other other people when we have a, an accident. Okay, there you have two things that you can do. And I guess you learned the right pressure for the tires, how to read the code on the side of the tire. No? No, teacher. Okay, that was a weird training. <laughs> Because that was the first thing that I learned, but I forgot it. I forgot most of it already. And the problem that was in in the company. Why? Is part of the. I don't know how do you say. Um, is mandatory for the company. Is oh be, an obligation is a must. Obligation. Mm -hmm. You can say it better. It's a must in the company, you know. It's a must on the company to take this training. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, wait, is that for a tire importing company? Yes. Okay, yeah, me too. At Ilatsa, I, I was working there, you know, and, they, the first thing that the general manager used to do was introduction to what is a tire? You know, what is a tire, how it is composed, how to use it, all of that. That was really interesting. Okay, and guys, you say taught us. 
just like the toros, you know, toros. They taught us how to. They taught us how to. Sounds good, right? They taught us. They taught me. They taught me. So the, the verb in past is taught. Okay. Teach taught taught. Next, who's next, Nelson? Ivan. Ooh, Ivan. Please describe to the class business needs and goals. What do you understand by business needs and goals? Business. What kind of business? I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Uh, okay. Two limits. Two limits. <laughs> business needs and goals. Does that ring any bell? We we started all of these concepts. We are I, 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 in, in my opinion, in the area, the 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 company or business uh, needs mm -hmm. is um a motivation. But uh, but the uh, employees um just uh, I don't know. Hmm. Motivator is, is, is necessary to use um, a different motivator and 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 no sería trato, but sea con sea con environment and uh, organization, a better environment organization. Better environment organization, a better environment, a better a better working environment. Working environment. But you're um, you're you're telling me what you think they need, but there's something about these concepts we started. You went online and looked for the concepts for business needs and goals. And what's the difference? Business needs. Uh, I see. I understand. I questions. That's what you understood, okay. And what are goals? What are the company goals, the business goals? Mm -hmm. Can okay. tell. Um, depends the goals, the company, and the the the, the partners. Uh, he he. He, pre he prepared the goals and the company. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, those benefits, benefits the company, um, uh, uh, goals uh, the short time. No, I don't know if it's okay. Short time. Yeah, sure, okay. it is fine. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, goals, short times, um, and uh, goals are uh, long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it, has, it, it has to do. It has to do the the big the vision and mission the company. Good job. Mm -hmm. Depend on the vision or vision the company, uh, the goals is uh, improved. improved. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Select someone else. Um, vision. Uh, uh, select somebody else. Yeah, vision. another classmate. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we have uh, the victims. Let's see the victims. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Luna. Oh, okay, Daniel. Daniel, what's a gap skills analysis? What is a gap skills analysis? That skills analysis is like a... who is that? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> okay, it's a space, an empty space. Mm, okay, empty space. Is the skills is. 
is necessary for perform a job. Mm -hmm. So if there's a gap of skills, there is a gap of skills. No, 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 I don't understand. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. There is a space. So let's say a carpenter um, doesn't know how to use a hammer. <laughs> It's mm. the hammer. <laughs> that yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So okay. so that that's the gap. No hammer. Oh. I mean, no hammer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Uh, but in my case, I I, no. I work. Define I work. define in in your own words. Relate the words, Daniel. Relate the word, the words. There's a gap of skills. Okay, the gap of skills is in, in, in my case of I uh, for example in my case I I as a work uh, as a I work uh, as a driver. As a driver. As a driver, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, and uh, that still is, is like uh, I go to I go how to change a tire. It's a it's a still for a driver. You got it. Okay. <laughs> now relate. Now relate analysis. Yeah, the 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 that still is 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 a. Uh, is uh, I think uh, what the uh, employees need to 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 have a training for for reduce the gap to steam. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You for, got it. For, for, so for is the, is the analysis knowledge. is the analysis of what is missing? Simple. Is the analysis of what is missing okay what are we in lack of what are we in lack of related to skills okay good good the example was perfect actually <laughs> that now we have to change a tire and your driver okay continue uh who's next daniel thank you Okay, let me see. Uh, Ruth Isena. Ruth, easy. Okay. Describing your own words. What's a survey? Repeat, please. What is a survey? In your own words, what is a survey? The survey is a technique. Hmm. Um, important for evaluation. Uh, uh, each two, three months for see the, for the evaluation performance the, of, of the each employees hmm. evaluation the results Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's work on these. Um, so for C, four, uh, two. Remember two before a verb to C. Four, uh huh. For considering. For considering. For doing, for seeing, 
Okay. Or seen. Okay. Exactly. So four plus noun. Okay. Oh, sorry. Four plus noun. Two plus verb. Everybody get that. Okay. Two verb. Four noun. Okay, for the evaluation performance, um, so it works for, it is for the evaluation. So you miss the subject there. It is for the evaluation of the performance of each employee's, um, each singular, each employee. It is for the evaluation of the performance of each employee. Good. To evaluate, again, to evaluate the results or the results here. Results, uh, results, results. You got it? Results. Results, okay. results. It's an O, not an O. Who's next? Ruth, who is next? Uh, who else are we missing? We're Pat missing Hector, uh -huh. Fatima, Adriana, Carla. <laughs> Fatima Aguilar Marquez. Okay. Fatima? Again. <laughs> Again? You already spoke? Yes. Okay. Yes. Choose someone else. Vanessa, Noemi. Have you spoken, Vanessa? No, teacher. Okay, good, easy. What's a performance appraisal? What's a performance appraisal in your own words? What is a performance appraisal? This is, for example, when the boss make an a, a type of evaluation about how do you how do you how do you make your your work and how do you complete all the all the tasks that you have to that that you have to make it i think that is a performance approach <sighs> Good job, yes. It's a tool that the boss, the boss uses when the boss make a type of evaluation. Uh, when the boss does a type of evaluation, when the boss does a type of evaluation on, mind this, on how you make your job. Be careful with this because it's very common. It happens. It, it's not a question, right? So you don't have to say, how do you? Okay. It's how. Yeah. How do you make your job? How do you do your job? Guys, what is the difference between make and do? Someone? Make is something that you do <laughs> with your hands. <laughs> hey, good. You got it. Make. It's something that you transform, actually. So if I say cake, do you do or do you make a cake? Make. Make. Okay. If if I say money, <laughs> this is a tricky word. This a tricky is difficult. Word. Difficult. Yeah, Carla, do you do money or do you make money? Make, make. Uh, do. 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 You make money. How much money do you make? How much money do you make? Don't say how much money do you do, okay? That's incorrect. Thank you. Good job, Vanessa. Actually, that was really good. Just one more thing. Um, so evaluation on how do you, how do you, wait. How do you do your job that you have to make, again, that you have to do? This is redundant. 
evaluation, how do you do, what else can we use instead of do? What synonyms are there for do? Don't say make because you learned that you cannot make your job. You have to do your job. So what's, what would be then a synonym for do? I'm making you think. <laughs> Starts with a P. Performance. <laughs> hey, good job. How do you perform your job? Saying that you have to do is just like, yeah, redundant, right? Okay. When the boss does a type of evaluation on how you perform your job, your tasks, your daily activities. Okay, so what am I doing? I, I just went through your book. That's all I'm doing right now. So your job tonight will be continuing with this exercise. What have we covered? Just go to your workbook and we're going to make questions among each other or at least understand the topics we have covered. I just used one page. Imagine that I just used the first page we started, which was page 15. And these are the concepts that we covered there. What I care the most is for you to understand the concepts we have started. For example, have we talked about the importance of training and development in the workplace? Yes. Here's where we have, in one of these is the videos for the DPC, P PCD, I forgot it. Oh my God. Mm, development, I forgot about this, CPD, okay, continuous development programs. Yeah, something like that, CPD, okay. And that's your task, focus on that, you know, the main topics, make questions to your classmates. Yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> exactly. So you can recall the information. That's the only thing, okay? You have to remember the information. The triangle strategy. Benchmark analysis. If we haven't researched these articles, this is your time to do it. Pre and post assessment. Oh, and then you will only have a few minutes. You only have, don't worry, 17 minutes because when we come back, we're gonna go to the platform and review the midterm exam together, okay? Okay. Good. So go to page 16 and start making questions to your classmates. Make sense? No, but okay. Come on, guys. Cheer up. I'll miss you. I'll miss you tomorrow. I'm I'm I being to, honest. To... To what did you? I don't understand. Yeah, uh, we have to go to page 16 on your workbook and start attacking your classmates with questions of your book, as I just did. If you don't know a concept, then look for it. Si no conocen un concepto, lo buscamos, okay? Por ejemplo, the triangle strategy. What is that? What's a triangle strategy? What's benchmark analysis? I don't remember. Okay, let's remember. Please don't stay here, okay? Practice. I'm just going to split you in two groups so you can have more participants. Let's go. We only have 15 minutes for this task. Let's go. Uh, sorry. No bullying, no bullying is allowed on this classes, please. 
No, no, even, what? no bullying. Uh, you know what's what bullying, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> not even not even to Zoom. Don't don't do bullying on Zoom. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Go to your book on page 16. And start asking Daniel, Carla, Ruth, or Fatima. Guys, what is oh, the triangle strategy? Hey. I found a triangle strategy. It's a video game. <laughs> oh my God, be careful. Be careful with the information that you find. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Okay, good. Good. Go on, guys. I have to stand up for a minute. Just a minute. Who has the book? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, me bien el partido. Que cuente cómo va. Sí, cómo va. No, no, no. So, who has the book? Who can share the screen with book? Okay. Hold on, please. I can share. Okay, do it. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. <laughs> No. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Don't you worry. <laughs> In this context, I didn't, I don't find any information about it. The, the, the triangle strategy is the same as the triangle service? Triangle, triangle of triangle. service? Is the same? I think so. Or... What are we talking about on this lesson? It was uh, training needs, right? And all that. So triangle strategy on Steam, no. Mm. I don't know.
is triangular and cerebris. <clears throat> hmm. The model elaborates the three key elements, the corporation, its customers, and its competitors. So if you relate it to a business, because I typed triangle strategy, business environment. Oh, the three C's. Customer, three. company, competitors. We saw that. That was on the video, remember? It's a triangle. It's a tri Service. triangle. Triangle? Tri triangle? Yeah, triangle. Yeah, triangle. Triangle. Customer, company, service, competitors. Customer, company, competitors. Okay. Any perspective on business unit strategy? There's a lot to say about that. But you got the idea, right? The three C's. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, I got it. Uh huh. Company, customers. Competitors, competitors, uh -huh. competitors, mm -hmm. empresa, cliente, competencia, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it is for what the triangle strategy? Let's see. Importance of training, development in the workplace. Uh -huh. He's done. Investing on high skilled and trained workforce. I mean, it has to do with employee training and development, how you plan. Why are you planning? Because you have three. This, If you follow these three strategies, you will focus on your company, on your competitors as well. That's basically the idea, I will say. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's that, that's the whole point. Business based strategy and corresponded to the internal approach of the entity and must cover all the processing development. Mm -hmm. Customers, competitors, and company. Yeah. If you develop mm -hmm. first, what will you develop first? The company or the customers? How will you focus mm -hmm. first? Mm -hmm. Depend on the focus. The customer, uh, the customer is, is, is... You know what is, is this? Awesome. The, this has to do with business needs. The question that I made to Ivan. What are the business mm -hmm. needs? Mm -hmm. It's an, a strategy... Um, on how to look at the factors needed for a business. You need these three factors to run a business. You need customers, you need competitors, and you need your organization as well, your company. It makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. What's a benchmark analysis? Benchmark is like a a copy idea of the other company. Mm. It's the check. <laughs> uh, it's the check. It's the spies. 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 the company. <laughs> that with new ideas to improve it, the other ideas for the. To company. improve someone else's idea. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's benchmark? 
Yeah, it's something like that. Benchmarking analysis is a specific type of market research that allows organizations to compare their existing performance, their existing performance against others and adopt improvements that fit their overall approach to continuous improvement and culture. Good, thank you. Yes, it's copying someone else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> copy paste. <laughs> and copy paste, but no, it's, it's similar. The the. Chinese or Japanese, I think. Japanese, they have a name for this. It's, it's Kaizen, I think. It was the ah, Kaizen. Uh, Kaizen, uh -huh. it's a, it's a uh, know how. It's the way they, it's the way administrators. Uh huh. It's the way for administrators. That's right. Know how. Uh -huh. I remember uh -huh, the other I things. <laughs> I don't remember the other. It's an acronym. It's an, that's an acronym for something that uh -huh. I can. Uh -huh. I was too it's long ago. No, too many years ago, I was taught that in the coming of the commercial. <laughs> I love this class. Stop laughing. I oh, know that that's a vibrator, right? Okay, good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep going. Oh my God! Thank you, Ivan. Estrategias. So, don't Spanish. Come on, Ivan. <laughs> I, I, I do believe you're snoring. I will believe it if you do it in reality. I, I will believe Erica's snoring. Erica's snoring. <laughs> Come on. Three minutes. Teacher, how do you say sediento in English? Thirsty? Como? Or how? There's. Y treinta? Thirty. 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 And how do you. I have a. <laughs> Tengo un problema. I have a problem, yeah. <laughs> I'm not expecting Spanish from you. Don't don't talk to me in Spanish. Mm -hmm. A few models ago, <laughs> mm -hmm. a teacher told us that it's not beach, it's beach. Beach. <laughs> beach. Playa, no, beach. Yeah, it's not beach. Uh -huh. It's beach. It's a bit. And the other word? That's another beach. word. What you just said is a bad word. It's beach. Uh -huh. beach. 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 Let's go to the beach. Beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. Right. I'm not saying the other word. And, uh, Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Queen. No. No me muerdas, no. No. Okay, I think that's okay. enough. Uh, what time is it? 9 30. Okay, let's go back so we can do hey. the platform.
We can go on forever with suspicious mind. And we can build get a suspicious mind. We call it a plan. I cannot go. Teacher, sing in the credence. Too much, baby. What? Have you ever heard the song uh, from the Credence? From Credence? Credence. Yes, Credence. Yeah, do, 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 you know, Daniel's ears were like, <laughs> the Credence. That's like <laughs> saying the Adriana, right? The Ivan. <laughs> El Ivan, Adriana, no. Okay, Credence, of course I have heard. What? That's music, Chele. That is music. That's music, Chele. Yeah. <laughs> that's music, Whitey. Hey, um, yeah, credence revival. It's not yeah, just. Revival. It's not just someone told me long ago. That's not the only song, you know. They have a lot <laughs> of a lot of other songs, great songs. Yep. Okay, so we're here to talk about your midterm exam. The first part is to do with both and not only, but also. So which per conjunction will you use? Not only, but also. Not only my sister, but also I are broke worms. <laughs> That sounds weird. Not only my sister, but also I are broke worms. Mm. But I'm is book book worms. But my um, sister and I are and I are book worms. Remember, there is a how do you call this thing? Uh, uh both sides yeah. of paired conjunctions, both sides must match, but you need to respect on, on but not only, but also you need to respect, if this is a singular, then you treat it as such. So not only my sister, but also me. That's weird. That's weird. I'm sorry. That's really weird. Not only my sister, but also I is bookworms. That wouldn't work. Definitely. <laughs> so it is. Both my sister and I are bookworms. What is a bookworm? Bookworms. When you like a lot of the the, the library. Maybe. You like a lot of the library. Yes, you like all the books on the library. You love books. Do you remember, Daniel, there was a cartoon from Metro Golding Mayor where there was a worm in the library with big glasses? Carla, do you remember? No. Metro no. Golding Mayor? Really? You don't remember? Oh my God, I'm so old. I remember the Metro Golding Mayor. Beautiful cartoons. Yeah. Those were really good cartoons. Anyways. Number two, we'll have both the cheesecake and the chocolate cake. We'll have not only the cheesecake, but also the chocolate cake. Well, there's a cow. Okay, uh-huh. The second one, not only by Hmm. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, both, uh, both, both, yeah, both, 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 both uh, and right. We'll have both the cheesecake and the chocolate cake, chocolate cake, chocolate cake, chocolate cake, chocolate cake. That is a word. Okay, huh? Both. Do I love this band? And I have what? <laughs> Seen them. In concert twice. Why do we have three spaces here? Mm -hmm. 
It's Hola. not do I love this band, but I have also seen the in, in concert twice. <laughs> Ooh, very good. Not only do I love this band, but I have also seen them in concert twice. Good job, Vanessa. Good job. Read the following definitions and match them with the correct term. The way that you progress in your work, either in one job or in a series of jobs. Career path. Career path. I loved your presentation of this. I remember I just picture it because you, you were right. I mean, it's the way you progress in your work in one job or in a series of jobs. It's, it's like a ladder, right? It's a ladder where you go growing. You can first be the barrendero, then you grow to the next level and so on and so on. Good job. Scaling, scaling. To make up the full capacity. To make up to full to the full capacity. Top up skills. Top up top up skills. What do you think? Yes, I agree. Yes, I'm a great pretender. Excellent. Teacher, teacher, what is translation the top top up skill? Top, top up skills yeah. to make top up the full to the full capacity. When you know everything, <laughs> when you know everything. Oh my God, Ivan, there was an angel next to you. <gasps> no, look, look, oh my God. Oh, it's your son. It's I my, got it's my net. It's my net. Uh, you what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is speaking English. He speaks English. Yeah. So you should talk to him every day. Yeah. Come on, come on. What are you doing to him? Tell you. Question. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill him, Ivan. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep <I'm> not. <laughs> Hey. I'm not. You're mad. You're mad and then mad. And mad. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Get going. Whether the following requests are good or bad ones. Are these good or bad yeah. requests? Get continual I'm gonna, training. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back. I'll be back. He said I'll be back, something like that. Get continual training, continuous, I'm sorry, guys, continuous training feedback. Is it a good request or a bad request? Good request. Good request. Okay. Develop assessment and evaluation criteria. Good request. Bad, bad request. Why? <laughs> Ah, no, 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 no. Development assessment. Oh. Ah, no, good request. Okay. An implementation timeline is not needed. Bad request. Bad, bad request. Oh. It's a bad request. Rewrite. I'm going to repeat. Rewrite. Every time you have an R, remember? When you have an R and a WR, the R is stronger. So you have rewrite. Rewrite the sentences again using not only but also. So there are problems with the children. There are problems with their parents. Hey, not only. They're not only. There, okay. there, there are. Uh huh. There are only. Only. Not only. There are problems not only. Okay, there are problems not only. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm following you. Do I need the period? But also. 
Okay, with the children and where, what, okay. But also. With their parents. With their parents. But also with their parents. Okay, period. Yes, I need the period. And last, she writes plays for television. She acts in movies. He not only writes, writes plays <clears throat> for television, but also acts in movies. You got it. Yay. Good job. Number three. Read the definitions and match them with the terms. Tool. Oh, look at this. There they were. Oh no. Okay. Tool you can use to determine what gaps exist between employees. Exi existing skills and those skills required by your organization to reach its current and future goals. Gap skills analysis. Analysis. Good job, analysis. I think. What do you think, guys? Is that true? Do we believe Adriana or not? All right. I agree. Excellent. Good job. Okay. A general view examination or can you shut that cow? I'm sorry. There's a cow in the class. Oh, oh. <laughs> Listen. I just remember grown ups with Adam Sandler. You remember the dog dog? Okay. <laughs> A general view examination or description of someone or something. Survey? Yeah. I don't know, Rick. Performance appraisal. Performance appraisal. It's just a general view, examination, or description of someone or something. How you're performing. That's what I think. What do you think, guys? I agree. Yeah. Performance appraisal. Totally. I agree with it, too. Next, they are the things the business must have or achieve to yeah. run, to be but what? Teacher, and and then in in the meter is wrong because if you put performance appraisal in the number two, mm -hmm. it's wrong. Really? Yes. Hmm. The number two is <gasps> yes. A general view, examination, or description of someone or something. Business needs and goals. Mm. Yeah, for me, this is a performance appraisal, which is what you perform to evaluate someone. Mm. I don't know, Rick. Yeah, but anyways, that, that, thank you, Carla. Yes, that's right. This is the right answer as per the platform, okay? Okay, number three. There are three... There, I'm sorry, they are the things the business must have or achieve to run, to be profitable, profitable, to serve effectively, and to deliver successfully on its mission. What is it? Business. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> Definitely, we'll go for that. Okay. Hmm. Huh. You know what, Carla? I have to correct myself here. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong answer there. It's survey. Number two is survey, guys. I didn't know view examination or description of something, someone or something. And it makes sense, actually. A survey is a general view, 
examination okay. and description of someone or something. So if I, I can conduct a survey of Danielle, okay, I can conduct a survey of, on Danielle and ask Carla, Nelson, Fatima, Ivan, everybody else, okay, do you like Danielle? Yeah. Is, is he a good person? Yeah. Can he speak English? Okay, et cetera, right? Is he a good friend, et cetera? That's a survey, mm -hmm. totally, to describe him. Okay, number four. When selecting a training option, do they measure progress? Is it an important element to consider or not an important element to consider? Important. Is important, important element to consider. When selecting important. a training option, do they offer multi multi channel, multi modal approach? Important. Hmm. Yeah, important. Select, do they offer multi channel, yeah. multi channel approach? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Get to the towel, please. Okay, next, number one. Not only, but also rugby. Not only rugby, but also yeah. football are popular in France. Yeah. Both rugby and football are popular in France, or neither rugby nor football are popular in France. Well, and... Should I trust, Daniel? What do you think? Neither rugby nor football are popular in France. Hmm. In France, neither rugby nor football are popular in France. Both and. Both and. Yes. Both, both, and. both rugby yeah. and football are popular both in France. And. Number two. Uh huh. Not only, but also. Okay. Yes. Not only is he a professional footballer, but also he's oh, but he's also a successful businessman. Yeah, I like that. Mary marriage is hell. I'm sorry. Marriage is what well, not only <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it said but it says hell. Huh. Okay, so what do we use here? Neither nor. Oh, huh, yes, that's right. Yes, marriage neither. is neither heaven nor hell. It is simply purgatory. Purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> Who designed <laughs> this test? It's true. <laughs> right, Daniel? Daniel. <laughs> it's, it's the truth and the life. <laughs> yeah, that's a real thing. Okay. No puedo decir nada. Uh, yeah, I know. Does she speak English? <laughs> she speaks English. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I'm blessed. You know, she doesn't speak English. So, freedom, freedom. freedom. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. Okay. Why is it important to invest in a trained workforce? So like true or false? Competitive advantage over other companies. If you have your workforce trained, is it true? Competitive yes, advantage. It's true. Yes, it's true. Decreased employee loyalty. It's false. Totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. Yep. False. Employees' loyalty is increased actually if you train them because they go like, Oh, they care about me. Well, we're missing 10 minutes. Give me your thoughts about Unit 2. Have you learned something? Be honest. <laughs> the like, have you learned something? You and I have a problem, Adriana. Our faces are too expressive. Be careful. Be careful. Have they told you that before? No. <laughs> right, Carla? <laughs> Did you see Carla? She was like. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be very careful, you know, when I think 
sometimes I move my eyes or do something and it can be considered irrespectful sometimes I, I get in trouble yeah that happens okay so what have you learned oh that's Ivan Ivan is a cow <laughs> no. why I cannot mute yeah I mute you but yesterday I couldn't mute you somehow you know that was weird I was in a class once and a student turned off my camera. He got upset with me because I started making questions, right? And he didn't like it. He was a teenager. And he was like, oh, really? And he turned on my turned off my camera. And I was like, how did you do that, right? That was weird. OK, what have you learned, Erika? I'm going to start making questions to people with their camera off. Here's raining. Nice. Yeah, it's raining. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. What did you learn, Erica, on this module, this section two? Get it two. A lot of things to do. Oh. No, really. For example. A lot of things. <laughs> oh my God. That's interesting. And also, a lot of things. Yes, a lot of. Many things. For the beginning, for to be honest, I don't know if it is this, this is the second day, third week. <laughs> this is the third week, actually. Today we're finishing week three. Tomorrow you're starting with someone else. Someone else. You're starting um week four, and then week five, and you're done. Come on, we're missing seven minutes, people. Give me your thoughts about unit two. Okay, don't fall asleep. Then let's do something. Let's do a quick intro to unit three. What are you going to study on Unit 3? Mainly, you're going to study me and Erika and Carla. No, wait. I'm sorry. Carla, may I ask you, what year were you born on? If I may. What is the question? What year were you born? What year? For example, I was born mm. in 1982. I was born in 1973. 1973. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Carla? 1976. Sixty-four. Sixty-four. No. Are you older than yes. Daniel? Really? Okay. No, but I have 54 years. What? But you look like 40-something, right? You look very young. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Ivan, what year were you born on? Mm, 2010. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. It's uh, 1979. 1979? Yeah. Uh, okay, so the next unit, you're going to learn about yeah. Ivan, me, Daniel, but not Carla. Carla I think she's from the, uh, how do we call this, this generation? The next unit is about generations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Generation oh, X, Generation X. G. Exactly. So I baby, think... baby, go baby boomers. Oh, Car Carla may be a baby boomer, but mm -hmm. I, I don't like that. You know, I love that topic, but I, I don't like the the tagging. You know, tagging people based on their birth dates. 
um, because I think it's more of the way you think. Because, yes, I'm a millennial, but I also consider myself like part of the next generation. I'm like an X generation, you know, a senior. Because I, I, I actually love being born on these years. I grew up with the um, technology. I grew up with the evolution of technology, of transportation, in general, the evolution of knowledge. I mean, it, it was amazing. And we were very blessed to play with our hands, to socialize with people. Our kids, millennials' kids, are not socializing with people. There's a lot to say about this topic, you know, a lot. Aliana may be a senior from Generation Z, I think. What what year were you born on, Aliana? 2000. 2000? Yes. You were 23? Yes. I thought you were 15. <laughs> <laughs> Who says Who says 15? 15, right? Right? Yeah? Yeah, I know. No, no, no. No, no, no 16, teacher. No. <laughs> yes, Erika, you were going to say something. We're missing two minutes. I forgot the question. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Thank you, guys. It's been my pleasure being with you all this time. I really appreciate your cooperation, your participation in class. You know, that was amazing. <laughs> okay. No, really, really keep going. Siempre antepongan su manera de pensar para dar la definición de conceptos y todo esto y le van a hallar mucho mucho mucha gracia a la clase sí entonces um, no sé quién va a estar con ustedes mañana honestamente eh, pues espero de verdad que continúen echenle ganas les falta poco en teoría para terminar ya eh, el, um, la certificación de inglés para el trabajo es muy bien valuada en el mercado esta certificación, si no se los han dicho eh, si logran aprender sobre management, imagínense lo que estamos hablando lo que sigue es cómo tratar con los millennials entonces si tú escuchas el chombo no mentiras, si sí, de verdad <risa> quieres aprender sobre eso, no de verdad hay un video de, del chombo en TikTok donde él explica a detalle esto oh, es <risa> un video del qué el chombo. No, 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 mira, chombe, tú, no, tú, no, tú no sabes de eso. Esa <risa> es influencer. influencer. No, el chombo era, era como manager, creo, de Wilson y Andel, de Daddy Yankee. Ah, ¿really? Es un... Sí, quien no el... conoce el chombo, no, hombre. No, de verdad, búsquenlo. Eh, Erika, te va, te va a gustar no, mucho la, la voz de él. Él habla mucho, de, pero de la música, sí. estilos de música. Ah, sí, o sea, sí, pero... y en este, y en este sí. caso habla de, la, de los gustos musicales según las... las es que sus su, su videos este eran más que video, todo... Ajá. Daniel. Habla, habla de, de las generaciones y habla de que de, de nosotros hemos sido la generación híbrida. Este, aprendimos con, el, con los teléfonos más viejos, no, él le llama... Teléfonos brutos, hasta teléfonos <laughs> inteligentes. Bueno, mira, vaya, en, en, en mi caso, I, I, I learn in, in a machine, right? O sea, una máquina de escribir. <laughs> in a typing machine, mm -hmm. correct. Typing machine, yes. Yeah. Exactly. En, en una máquina de escribir, pasé hasta la computadora, usando el GOS. Yo pasé por la máquina de escribir eléctrica. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ay, no, yo la manual. Escribías no, todo no, y después presionabas no, un botón y era. Rrr, rrr, rrr. No, yo la manual. Y yo después decías, manual. me equivoqué. Ajá. Sí, está bien. Okay. Pues, muy bonito ese video. Voy bueno, chicos. Sí, es una buena idea. Es muy buena idea sí. para que empiecen a pensar en el tema de las siguientes clases, ¿ok? Ha sido un placer <ríe> estar Sharon, con Sharon. ustedes. Cuídense mucho y espero Comienza verlos pronto. Ok. Good night, guys. Eh, esta noche me quedo con Adriana otra vez porque ya volvimos a empezar el listado de ahí arriba para abajo. Ok. Adriana, oh, okay. Adriana José, Serna Durán. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. 
Present teacher. Erika Jasmine Martinez Carpio. Present. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present. Good night, Fatima. Good night. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Oh, he's gone. Ivan Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. Present. Good night. Good night. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. She's here. Okay. Jolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Good night, Jolman. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Thank Good you. Good luck, teacher. Good night. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Oh, good luck. Thank you. Lucy, Lucy is not here. Good luck. Thank you. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Take care, Nelson. Good night. Ruth Isela Joaquin Flores. Present. Thank you. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. She's gone. And Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemu. Present. Thank you. Good night. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. They don't want to go, you know. Okay. <laughs> Session number two of 101. This is how it feels being number one on the list. Yes. Right? That's the story. That's the story of your life. Mm, kind of because sometimes uh, when I was from the school. <laughs> Last year? Uh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can I, I can't help it. No lo puedo evitar. I can't help it. Uh huh. I always, uh, in the list, I was like five or two because others, um, others classmates. Other were, classmates, uh-huh. Oh, yes. yeah, like Anna or but it's, Abel. It's, <laughs> it's for the last names. It's because of, it's because uh, of the it's last because, names. Uh, yes. Bec for example, Argueta. And mm. Bermudas, Bermudas. Yes. And Aurios. I am Serna. <laughs> okay. So, stage number two of our 101 sessions. Hmm. I'm going to take you to the limit. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't do it, please. Wait. There we go. Let's go to Paris. You have 30 seconds on the screen. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, Rennie, do you have 30 seconds? Great. Give me a minute because I'm always... Okay. Let's play something really quick. <laughs> With the cron... Help. The stopwatch. Stopwatch? This is the... Stopwatch. Uh-huh. Um, chronometer? Uh-huh. Stopwatch. Stopwatch. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Stopwatch. Okay. So you have 30, 30 seconds on the board. Okay. <laughs> Talk to me about vegetables. 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 Three, two, one, go. I other other topic. <laughs> Come on. Another topic. Okay. Another... <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Uh talk to me about traveling. Traveling. That's easy. Okay. Traveling. Okay, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> start <laughs> talking. I'm sorry, but you didn't start. <laughs> no, because I'm expecting you to say the first word. Ah, go. okay, okay. Okay, so about traveling. Mm -hmm. Um um traveling when you when you um talk about traveling and when you for example take a, a flight right oh, okay okay um 
in my life, I only take a, a flight <laughs> in a whole life. And it was to, to go uh, to Costa Rica. <laughs> it's because my company is from there. And that was the reason. <laughs> Okay, good job. You didn't stop in my life. Wait a minute, because I mistype when I type. try to type yes, fast. Yes, yes. In sorry. my life, I only take a flight. Okay. Would you talk about experiences? You should use present perfect, so. In my life, I only take. In How do you change this I... sentence to uh -huh, present perfect? In my life, I've. I've. Only to take. Taken. taken. In my life, I only taken a flight. And mm. it was to go to, try to say this, to go to Costa Rica. Mm. And it was to go to Costa Rica because my company is from there. Uh, because my company's headquarters. Right. Mm -hmm. Headquarters. What are is... there the main offices ah. uh, so if they have many branches right mm -hmm. muchas branches? um sucursales branch branches mm -hmm. actually no because we don't have a um, physical uh, office okay i'm confused <laughs> <laughs> but just to give you an idea right <laughs> Their okay, headquarters, okay. the main office, is in Costa Rica, right? Okay, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Or... Quarters. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's another way of saying it. The main office, the headquarters. The offices of the company are in Costa Rica. Yeah, okay. This is what I used to do as an interviewer, you know. Okay. I used, I used, I, I used to go like, okay, talk to me. Uh, tell me about yourself, okay? My name is Adriana. <laughs> I'm shy, but at the same time, you know, I like to smile a lot. And I think I'm pretty, but people say that I'm not. I don't care. And, and they were just talking, you know. And then I, I used to go like, okay, you have 30 seconds. Talk to me <laughs> about rocks. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. But it's, it's something so generous. <laughs> You cannot say that in an interview. Look, I don't to change the topic. <laughs> These are called brain teasers. Brain, brain teaser. teasers. These are brain teasers. To change your mindset like that. So talk to me about rocks. Try it. There's a rocks. lot to say. Mm -hmm. No, actually not. <laughs> okay, let me help you. Shape, color, use. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, rocks. So I I remember when I was a a child, <laughs> I used to go to to Ilopango Lake, and uh, it it has like a, um boma rocks, and with my sister we used to uh lanzar to the lake and we the purpose of that was like to achieve like a it just to ah, sorry. <laughs> good job okay how do you say lanzar in english i don't remember lanzar throw mm, throw oh, okay throw throw okay come on throw throw mm -hmm. to throw rocks to throw. the lake we used to throw rocks, rocks to the lake. I'm sorry. We used to throw rocks to the lake. Flat rocks. I love that. I do that all the time when I go to the beach or to the lake. Yes. Okay. Time's up. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, this is a way you can practice. Okay. Okay. And it helps you. You see, you found a verb that you didn't remember. So, yeah. That's the yes. way. Yes. Okay. Please continue studying so you can achieve your goal okay okay <laughs> nice to meet you take care
Take care, teacher. Bye. Bye.